matrix for specification quality now davies and his colleagues they propose characteristics that can be used to assess the quality of the requirement model because the first thing is to gain the requirement in terms of requirement model we finally make the corresponding srs software requirement specification or the requirement specification now we are interested in the matrix for this specification and what is the quality of this specification for example this srs what amount of all these a degree all these have specificity lack of ambiguity whether it is complete or not correctness understandability verifiability internal and external consistency of the document the achievability whether we can achieve these requirements or not concision the traceability the modifiability traceability is that when you complete the project can you trace back modifiability can you change precision how accurate precise it is reusability okay along with this the uh, mr davis and others they also said that these high quality specifications are electronically stored how whether they are able to execute or if you are not able to execute because the specification requirement model may not be executable they are least interpretable only and the annotation should be given wherever it is uh, you know admissible and the document or the srs should be or the model should be stable versioned organized cross referenced these are very important and specified at the right level of detail this documentation or the product the specification so many of these characteristics they are seem to be very qualitative from the accuracy we can uh, compute but what about the usability or the you know the ambiguity how do we check so we will use the matrix we assume that there are this is for example you have srs software requirement specification the n sub r is the requirements in specification so what is the nr nr will be nf plus nnf all these f and nf these are subscript so this first one is the functional requirement the second one is the non functional requirement non functional requirement are specifically written and non functional requirement are some some are explicit some are implicit now this is a value but in order to find out says a specific srs function or value or metric specificity two people may understand the same requirement in different way they may interpret the same requirement in different way this may be possible so how do uh, we go about it we have another metric which is n by n first is n ui which is the number of requirement for which all reviewers they have identical interpretation that is you and me both are interpreting interpreting the requirement in the same way so n ui by n r this is the number of requirement all have same interpretation and n r you already know n f plus uh, n n f so closer the value of this q1 if it is 1 closer to 1 then the ambiguity in the specification is less so this is how the metric can be computed for example you need need to compute the completeness of functional requirement there are functional requirement non functional requirement so we have functional requirement and we need to know the completeness for that we have this matrix n u by n i into n s n u is the number of unique function requirement all the function requirement no duplication unique function requirement should be there it should not match with others ni is the number of inputs defined and implied by the specification in the specification of function or how many inputs it's going to take so these are the inputs ni ns is how many states it will change so number of states uh, specified for this function you can see it in the state diagram also okay this is the completeness so you get a matrix for completeness of functional requirement of, of the specification now q2 will measure the percentage of necessary function that have been specified for a system so this value will tell you okay these are the uh, functions which need to be 
defined or they are specified in the function. These are the necessary function. But the uh, one point about this uh, matrix is it does not address the non-functional requirement. In order to get that, in order to incorporate it into overall metric for completeness, functional and non-functional, then we need to validate the degree to which the requirements have been validated. For that, an, another matrix is there, Q3, NC by NC plus NV. Now, NC is the number of requirements that have been validated and we are saying that we are, these are correct. That is why we have NC. They are validated and they are correct. This is NC. What about NV? These are the number of requirements that have not yet been validated. So this is the Q3 which is taking the overall completeness matrix. 